post those on the on the chat site. And I'm, as I look through there, there's a there's a couple of uh, questions, and one I'm going to, if Chris, are you there, Chris? Yeah. Somebody's asked a question about uh, dig uh, anaerobic digesters on small farms. Could you uh, comment on that? Yeah, I chatted. Uh, I made a comment in the uh, up above in the chat box recording regarding AD technology. I believe there's a group in the southeast. Uh, that is doing some work with small anaerobic digesters for a small or anaerobic digesters for small farms, and I believe they're in Kentucky, uh, connected to the ARS unit there. But okay. I, I'll confirm that, and we'll we'll publish that as an FAQ. Okay. Right later. Right. Someone asked for a definition on what what is a book value. Um, that uh, a book value is a. Uh, uh, for Manure, for example, would be a, 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 a published average that you'd find in the literature. It, uh, it, that would be versus a, you know, a, a tested value. You, you collect the manure and you send it out for testing and the, the lab tests it for you and they, they send you back the values. A book value is just what's, uh, you know, a, what we know to be an average value for horse manure, dairy manure, beef manure, sheep manure, et cetera. Um, Mike, if I can add to that. This is go Fred. ahead, please. Um, and sometimes the easiest places to find those, uh, those literature values, the, the book values, or uh, any extension uh, production recommendation for whatever your state is, normally they'll have them in there, and also in the NRCS uh, uh, animal uh, based handbook, uh, field handbook, uh, they have uh, book values in there that are all from the published literature. Mm -hmm. There was also a question asked about, let's see, um, about um, support for small farms, and, I'll, and maybe I'll throw this uh, uh, in terms of funding support for, uh, um, for uh, you know, manure structures and things like that. Uh, I'll, I'll throw that out to everybody, and, and maybe you can describe what what you know to be the case in your individual state. Um, uh, Fred, why don't you start with New Jersey? I, I know what the situation system is here, but why don't you, for a smaller farmer, what, how could they get uh, equip support, for example? Well, yeah, they would have to uh, come into the, the equip program, apply, and uh, there's other programs like the AMA program uh, in the past, but equip is certainly the, the biggest program that uh, cost sharing is available for any kind of manure management uh, practices. And uh, it, it's, it's only, there's, no, there's no way to know for sure what the budget is from one year to the next. and how competitive it is going to be, but certainly uh, there are opportunities out there for it, and anybody that thinks that they, they want to do some structural conservation practices or get into nutrient management uh, on their operations certainly doesn't, doesn't hurt to check it out. Right. Uh, how about you, Mark? What about uh, in uh, North Carolina? I'm sorry. the The question was uh, on the uh, – I was looking at the – head to the next question. Oh, <laughs> uh, Public, public sources for book values. So, well, uh, pub, public support for uh, oh. um, small farms in small terms farms. of uh, structures and conservation. Um, it's it would be you know, we don't have any special programs for small uh, producers. Um, so it would be under the same programs uh, like Equip. Um, we do have a state program, uh, a state car share program as well, but it's uh, nothing that is targeted specifically for small producers. Okay. Chris? Yeah, Mike, we have, a, we have a demonstration program for small farms that cost shares with uh, uh, operations across the state to, to demonstrate and, and develop alternatives, hopefully for a future a more mainstream cost share program. But there is not, outside of that small program, there is not, there's not a lot of uh, any equip. And as I mentioned, it's sometimes a challenge to, to actually obtain those dollars. So. That's all we have. It's uh, definitely a need. Right, right. Next question deals with, um, or one of the next ones deals with um, equipment. Um, is there a site that discusses the various types of spreaders, pros and cons? Um, there is on, uh, Mike, on e the e-extension, I just posted the address. Okay. Uh, there is a link there, uh, a page there talking about some of the different equipment as well as a uh, 
a link to uh, University of Missouri site uh, of land application equipment as well. Okay. Mike, if I could add to that. This Go ahead, Fred. Fred. Uh, some of the information that I got when I was speaking on that one slide about manure management and spreaders came from uh, the Small Farm uh, Nutrient Management Primer uh, from the University of Georgia, which uh, it's available online and I find to be an excellent reference. Okay. Are there other questions? Um, someone has a question about CCA credits. Um, I think those are available online, correct? Get the CCA credits? Yes, um, there's going to be, this webcast is uh, recorded and archived, and uh, we've submitted an application to the Certified Crop Advisor Program and also the American Registry of Professional Animal Scientists for continuing education. And if you go back to the LPE website, um, which Mark said the www.extension.org, you'll see a link to continuing education there and you'll, you'll be able to find um, the quiz. Now, right for today's program, the, I don't think the CCA program has posted the quiz yet, but they usually get that done fairly quickly. Okay. Another question, is there a cost for some of these manure management programs to small farms? Um, I'm not sure I know what, the, what they're referring to in that, but there's certainly some costs. Um, if, if they're referring to the cost of, uh, of, of equipment, yeah, obviously there's going to be going to be costs for um, um, you know buildings and storages and structures. Um, I think they're referring more to maybe the programs like some of the NRCS programs. Fred, um, are there are there costs to producers for those programs? Uh, yes, it's not a hundred percent you know paid for by the USDA program. It is a cost share. I have to apologize, I don't have the program, the latest program information in front of me at the moment, but what I would advise people to do that have questions about uh, the programs is to simply uh, go to Google or Yahoo and whatever state you're in type, you know, just, just Google state name NRCS and it'll usually the first thing that'll come up will be the, uh, the, the web page, the home page for the NRCS uh, in your state and then if you click on programs it'll get you all the information that's available uh, both uh, on the screen and PDFs, things like that that you can print out about the latest rates and, and what practices are available for cost sharing in the many programs that USDA has. Thanks, Fred. Well, Mike, you might add that Fred yeah. probably disagree with me if I'm wrong here, but I'd say that the cost share rates probably range between 30 and 70 percent, 75 percent, with most of them being around the 50 percent. So. You're talking about a $20,000 manure storage for a small farm. They'd have to come up with $10,000 of cash out of their pocket to install that practice. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's probably ballpark, uh, Chris. Someone had asked a question about the program that I showed on the um, our manure management program in New Jersey, and um, that's that program is is still somewhat in. Uh, in beta testing, um, there, it still needs to have a few changes made on the reports pages. But uh, our, our New Jersey state rule requiring farmers to to have uh, nutrient management plans doesn't take place until probably the fall sometime, and uh, we we aim to have the program finished by then. Um, I, I expect we'd be willing and interested in letting other states have it, have tried out at least test it. Um, the one thing that is specific for New Jersey is the section on on. Um, on nutrient uh, management planning because the numbers that are in there are, are related to New Jersey crops currently, but you know there's there's certainly ways we can we can change that to make it uh, accessible to other places as well. Are there any other questions? I think we've gone through most of them. Okay, if that's all, I want to thank everybody for uh, participating today. Thank you for attending. Thank you for your great questions. And um, uh, please, if you have more questions, I think you can still continue to submit those questions, uh, and we'll, uh, we will respond to those uh, here from uh, different members at the center. Um, thank you very much. Thanks to all the present presenters, to, to Chris Henry, to Mark Rice, to uh, um, Fred Kelly, and especially to Jill Heemstra, who uh, was the contact person in the manager of everything we did here today.
So uh, thank you very much, and and uh, have a good day.